What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about the Apple TV 2 and more importantly, let's talk about a jailbroken Apple TV 2. As you can see here, this looks vastly different than anything that you see with a stock Apple TV installation. You see the normal stuff, the movies, TV shows, but then you get things like Neto TV um, and that has its own you know, just plethora of options and features right here on this particular menu item. You see install software, weather, etc. Then you have music, of course, that's just your normal music. You have XBMC, which there's a whole nother bag of chips in itself. We're going to talk about that later. You have internet, you have Last.fm. This internet is basically all that you normally get with this stock um, installation, except for RSS. That's something new. Um, so, yeah, you have that RSS feeds there and the internet option or in the internet menu. Then you have browser, which is your web browser. You can do a Google search. You can go to particular addresses. You can view your history. You have computers, which is your home sharing option. That's just a normal thing. Then you see that background hat kind of fades out. That is a slideshow background. Then you have media, which is basically it allows you to connect to your remote um, hard drive. Say you have a hard drive hooked up to your airport, exp or your airport extreme or any other router, you have a hard drive hooked up to that, you can connect to that or connect directly to your computer as well and view you know, all sorts of videos. It, it plays pretty much any format. Then you have settings here. You have uh, maintenance, which allows you to manage the ATV flash black options. Then you have remote HD, which is a iPhone remote or, or iOS remote that you can use your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to control your Apple TV. Now let's look at these custom settings. You notice the background was quite a bit different than the normal Apple TV background. That's because of these custom settings that we have installed. You have the main menu slideshow, which is that slideshow in the background. And then you have the weather as well, which is the weather. And these can all be configured with all these different options right here in the slideshow shed slide show settings sorry got a little tongue tied there then you have the select folder which allows you to identify the folder that you want to use for your photos so this one is defaulting to the flower photos that comes with your apple tv here is whether you can set your weather id here are the, some options for the the look of uh, these plugins you have the remove top shelf um, which i'll show you what that does here you see the top shelf that actually shows you the shelf or the items that you're browsing on right now so that kind of looks weird when you have the weather information in the background with the top shelf it doesn't really look good so we really need that removed if we're going to keep weather on there so we can go back to our extensions and then go ahead and remove that top shelf again now you can just disable those plugins outright and here it is with no um, slideshow and no weather as well so that is just a bare bones look right there and notice that the shelf is still gone so you don't have like the movies being displayed in the shelf so we really need to re-enable that shelf if we turn off the weather in the slideshow we really need this shelf back to make it look good so let's go back to our settings and let's go back to our top shelf and turn that on okay so now we have the top shelf back on we can see it right there Okay, so we've looked at the customization options with some of the uh, Neato TV features. Let's go back down to Neato TV and let's check out some more of the software that this package offers here. So let's just click on install software with our remotes and that will bring up a list of all of the software that you can install by means of Neato TV. So you can see it right here, Remote HD, Erica Utility, Screen Capture. There's even some VNC options here. There's the main menu weather and slideshow that we had. There's Remote, there's Remote HD. Um, there's lots of different things here. There's AFC to add, which allows you to connect your Apple TV to a USB port and browse the file system right there. There's um, also weather, which you can configure here. You can add your own weather location. This, These are the default locations that come with Neato TV. Um, you can see Amsterdam, it's, I don't, yeah, okay, anyway, uh, RSS feeds, you can set up some different feeds here, there's Dig and Gadget, uh, ESPN, Gadgetoid, and the unofficial Apple weblog. Now here's Engadget's feed, the RSS feeds really aren't that great on here, as you can see, they're pretty bare bones, so you're not going to want to read RSS feeds by means of Neato TV's implementation. Here is Manage, which allows you to add additional sources or browse particular sources. Now, this is really nice because you can browse all of the default Cydia repos. You can also browse like things like Firecore, Awkward TV. Um, Awkward TV has, of course, a lot of different things in here. 
Uh, some of them you're already familiar with. There's Plex client, which allows you to run Plex, which is a nice, um, I guess you could say, media application that works in tandem with your um, your Mac or PC. And let's check out some of the settings for Neato TV. You can update. You can check for updates. You can set the interval that you want to check. You can log your notifications, view the system log, and restart low tide and reboot the Apple TV. Now, restart low tide is basically like a respring of the springboard. And reboot Apple TV, obviously, it reboots the Apple TV completely. So that was Neato TV. Then you have Music, XBMC, which is too in-depth to talk about right now. And then you have Last FM. You have, um, of course, Internet, which comes with your Apple TV. Then you have Browser. That is a new jailbreak feature. Browser allows you to do a Google search. You can enter an address directly. Let me just show you the Google search here. So let's just search for iDownload blog. I'm typing this via my iPhone, the uh, remote HD app. That is how I'm able to type so quickly. I'll show you that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and submit that. And then you should see the Google search results that looks like the iPad version because I'm using the iPad user agent. We can go up to iDownload blog and uh, tap on enter on our remote and it will load up iDownload blog. So it looks pretty much just like the website that we all know and love. Um, of course, the navigation isn't as smooth as it would be on a normal you know, tablet or computer, but it gets the job done in a pinch. You, you don't want to actually browse on here like your normal browser. This won't be your day-to-day -day browser, but if you just need to look something up real quick, it can come in handy. So that was the browser. Let's talk about the maintenance menu, which is really the meat and potatoes of ATV Flash Black. This is what you get when you install ATV Flash Black on a jailbroken Apple TV. You get all these options to manage. You can install all these different things. You Couchsurfer Pro, which is the browser we just looked at. You have Last.fm. You have the maintenance, which is this. You have Media Player, which allows you to view videos from your computer. You have Remote HD. You have RSS feeds, Weather, Nitto TV, Remote, XBMC. So this is how you install all those easily. Now, granted, all these things can be installed without ATV Flash Black, but this is an all-encompassing uh, package that allows you to manage all of these at once. Now, another benefit of ATV Flash Black is that you can manage backups. You can actually back up your settings, full or otherwise, and back up and restore your Apple TV settings. You can also show hide your menus. You can show or hide any of these menus. So I'm just going to disable all of them. These are the stock Apple TV menus that come with your Apple TV. Then you can relaunch the Apple TV just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a relaunch here and notice that all of these stock Apple TV menus are hidden, like movies, TV shows, music, etc. So that makes it so you can really customize this to your liking, which is really nice. And last but not least, let's talk about Remote HD. It is an option that allows you to use an app on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to control your Apple TV. And this one is much more robust than the stock Apple remote. It allows you to have text options anywhere, among other things, so it's really nice. Check it out. So folks, those are just some of the options that make the Apple TV worth a jailbreaking. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. I haven't even talked about XBMC yet. I'm going to do that in the next video. And that's really where you're going to get a lot of the media options that make jailbreaking an Apple TV such a great idea. In the meantime, let me know what you think so far. If you have not yet jailbroken your Apple TV, was this enough to convince you to do so? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.